Greetings everyone, how are you doing? Uh, in this video we're gonna talk about Thermix and installing it on your phones. Thermix is uh, uh, something like a terminal emulator, terminal emulator, but it has its own package manager just like we've seen in the other videos. But before you can install Thermix, you should install a free and open source package manager so many youtubers talk about it so you yourself you can probably you have heard about it and this application is uh, not available on play store so you need to go to their website or you can type type on google f dash droid and you get it afterwards you press this button and then press ok this this is the process of installing f droid on your phone you press ok and then the download is gonna start for me I have downloaded it so I don't care if it's down, it's, if it's downloaded or not because I have downloaded it and installed it you may need to enable uh, unknown sources to be able to install it so you need to do such thing otherwise you may not be able to install it unless you do what I, to what I told you now and then you go to your F-Droid icon you type here uh, Thermix the application that we would like to install I forgot that I need to type using this keyboard Thermix and then we should find yes this one we download this Thermix terminal install should wait for it some time I'm gonna pause the video because the package or the application is not small it's almost 90 megabytes which may take some time so I'm gonna pause the video and then we continue so we're back our application is almost installed uh, once you install F-Droid and you launch it for the first time you need to understand that you may find it empty and that's because it's still uh, refreshing and installing the repositories here I got this install prompt directly because I have enabled installing from unknown sources and give, I have given also F-Droid the permission to install applications. So you need to enable it yourself to be able to install applications from it. So our Thermix application is being installed now. It's almost installed. Never mind this. and uh, if droid will try to update you can cancel the update you open this thing where is this thing yes you open it and then you install uh, you dis you cancel the update you install this thing over here supposed to install yes it's installed that's just about installing updates if I'm not mistaken so you just open your Thermix you need to wait some time and your, your Thermix is good to go this is the same application that I was using and you need to understand or let me tell you something this application exist on, exists on Google Play Store but you should not install it from there because uh, Thermix developers and maintainers decided never to update it anymore from Google Play Store so you're gonna get an outdated version of this application and whenever you want to install any package it's not gonna work you will not be able to install because the mirrors do not work so here we can install or type for example ls enter there is nothing here so it works pwd pkg upgrade just like the comments before and then enter it's gonna do the job so I guess that's it this is how you can install 
thermics on your phone as well as F-Droid. F-Droid is quite important, you need to have it. It's the free and open source alternative. I cannot say if it's alternative, but it's similar to Play Store. Yes, I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. So, never mind. I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.